Very good morning, everybody. This is Thursday, the 11th of February, 2016. Now, I've just arrived at the car park at work and there's loads of cars here. There's Mercedes, there's a BMW, and there's lots of four wheel driving, these big estate things. So obviously we've got a visit from the big wigs here for some reason. And here I am, the main man, the main bingo caller, the most famous person, the face of Mecca, almost here in Dundee. And I'm sitting in a Kia Picanto eating a half price bacon roll and drinking my own cup of coffee that I brought from the house. There's something wrong somewhere. The big wigs are on the stage having a meeting folks. I don't know if you can see them, there's about six of them. All discussing the future of our club. Oh. Right folks, just to let uh, a couple of my friends, Brian and Cameron, I've booked the holiday. 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, 22, 23rd of October. We're off. Holidays, good times are coming, chaps. Yay! So this is moi, Don's La Travail. I am at work. Well, the first thing I do want to come and have a bit of a chat to the girls, you know, just have a, a laugh and that, and then to get the flow organised and take it through and just set up for the day, basically, and that's it. And then I go and call bingo until my back teeth are coming out. Um... And then I go home, and then we come back and start all over again. Just just like that. It's like Groundhog Day here at the Bingo Sometimes. Job's very simple. It's a bit samey all the time, but it's great because you get to talk to loads of people and that. And, you know, my my personality just fits the job perfectly. It's like this job was designed for me, almost. It's fantastic. I love it. It's great. And I don't start to 11. I mean, I get a long line. It's great. Oh, crikey, we've got a corned off area. Oh. Crikey, it's like some sort of um, <clears throat> foreign boudoir. Look at the colour, man. Jeez, oh. Whips and chains excite me. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, okay, right. I'll see you later, Turbo. Bye. Right, folks, been a bit controversial here. I'm going into Asda, but I've got a co op carrier bag. I wonder if that really annoys them or not. I don't know, but we shall find out. Right, folks, here's all tonight's tea. We're ready to go. We've got it all prepared. Oh, yes, a lot of them. Then, there we go. Awesome. Okay, folks, well, it's almost tea time. It is, well, it's quarter past four, so I've just prepared everything for my tea. I've got this sudden craze for stir fries and prawn crackers and cashew nuts and stuff like that. I've been eating it for the last almost two weeks non-stop just stir fries with garlic chilies chicken prawn crackers cashews water chestnuts mushrooms onions peppers everything's just getting lobbed in there and the rice noodles i love them i think it's because i've got one of these addicted personalities or whatever they call it you know where you just basically go blah for for ages when you get stuff and then i'll i'll go away from it you know i always do i'm, I'm very like that i've got one of these personalities bro will tell you where i just go mad for something for a couple of weeks and then just forget about it forever anyway mm. however no one was prepared for what happened when they did finally put them so together. another thing i like folks is this Gordon monkey business sedate and grumpy mum, Amy. there's a gorilla a, a, an orangutan in it well, called well, gordon <laughs> And Gordon is about to discover just how much fun two orangutans can have. I love together. that program. It's fantastic. Monkey business. It's on pick one, two, three, between four and six. Go, Gordon. There he Gordon is. is playing as rough as a two-year-old can. And Roro is playing up to it. <laughs> pretending that he was stronger than he is. Excellent. 